Hello friends, this video on circles part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study second and tangent. Before we study, let's know why should we study circles. If you see, all around us, we use tabs. And most of the structure in the tabs are circular. For example, this is circular, this tab pipe is circular. Everything is circular in tabs. Also, if you see the digital camera we use, the lens are circular. Most of the buttons you see, most of them are circulars. Not mandatory, but most of them you will see circular figures. A lot of circular figures you will see in a digital camera. Also, if you go to the well, generally wells are circular. The buckets, if you see, they are circular. Uh, this thing, which is the pulley, which is used to pull the Bucket is also circular, correct? If you see the CD, compact disc, the CD player, the CD we use to listen to music, this is also circular. If you see the ball, if you see a ball, this is also circular. The tire used in the car is also circular. So if you see around us, so many things we see, the tires of the car, the ball we play, the CD, the, the camera, the tap, the well. In most of the thing you'll find circular objects and that is why it is very much necessary for us to understand circle. Let's try to see how circle behaves with a line. So there can be a scenario where the line is outside the circle. In this case you have one circle, you draw one circle you have this line, the line is outside the circle. You can have a case where the line touches the circle at one point. This is the point P where this line touches the circle. We can also have the circle which is and the line which touches the circle at two distinct points. So we can have only three scenarios. One scenario the line is not touching the circle, the line touches the circle at one point and the line touches the circle at two different points. This scenario where the line touches at the circle at a one point is called tangent. That is the line, there's suppose line AB, this is the line AB. So line AB is called tangent. This scenario also let's suppose this is uh, PQ. It touches the circle at two distinct points P and Q. So line PQ is called secant. Please note, if the line touches the circle at one point, it is called tangent and the line is called tangent. If the line touches at two points, the line is called secant. Correct? So there are three possibilities. In one case, the line is not touching the circle line is touching second case the line is touching the circle at one point in third case the line is touching the circle at two distinct points so this case is called tangent we'll learn more about tangent and secant as we have told that we'll learn about tangent and secant so we'll learn about these two things in our chart so tangent is clear tangent is nothing but a line that touches the circle at one point secant is nothing but a line that touches the circle at two distinct points. Example in this case, if you draw a line like this, this two points are also called secant. So let's suppose this is C and D. So line CD is also secant. Correct? Let's do some activity on the tangential circle. Before we start with the activity, let me repeat the definition. Tangent to a circle is nothing but a line that intersects the circle at only one point. Please. Please focus on this point one because if a line touches the circle at only one point, then it is called tangent. If it touches at two point, it is called secant. Three point not possible. You can't draw a figure where a line touches the circle at three point. In this activity, what we will do? We'll draw a circle and then we'll draw a line and we'll try to rotate the line. And we'll see how it touches the circle. So let's draw a circle. This is a circle. And let's draw a line. This is my line. And I'll now try to rotate this line. This line I'll rotate. And I'll see how this line 
touches the circle. Let's rotate this line. So if you see this line is touching the circle at two points. Correct. Let me rotate once again. So if you see this line is touching the circle at two points. Most of the case. I'll show you. It's touching the circle at two distinct points. If you see all the two points. These points. So if you see when we rotate this circle, this line, it was something like this. It touched this circle at two points. When this line was further rotated about this point, we got something like this. This was also touching this point at two point. Further rotation, you get this. So all these points you see are touching the circle at two points. Correct? Let me repeat. See, all these points are touching the circle at two points. One point is here, and one point is there. If you see. This is the point that it touches. Everywhere it touches at two point. Only in case of tangent, it has one point. The moment you rotate this line, the moment you rotate this line, this point of contact will be there anyway. This line, this line, when you rotate this side, it will touch. At various points, two points. Example: this point will touch this little point now. You further rotate this, this point at this point. You further rotate this at this point. Further rotate this at this point. So everywhere it will touch. Here also, if you see, this line will touch at this point. Here also, if you see, this line will touch at this point. If you see here, it will touch at this point. Here also it will touch at this point. Only in this case, one case, it touches the line at one point. Correct. So at a given point of time, you can have only one tangent. At a given point, for example, this point P, you can have only one tangent. Correct. That is only one tangent at a given point of time. So what we have done in this case, we have taken this uh, line, we have taken this circle. We have rotated this line about this point P, and we found that the moment we rotate, this line becomes this this line. For example, this also, and it touches the circle at two points. All the cases it touches the circle at two points. For example, P it will become PQ dash, Q double dash, Q triple dash. So PQ dash, PQ double dash, PQ triple dash are all the points of this line when you rotate. Thus, we have seen that at a given point of time or at a given point P, what are possible lines we could have got by rotating this line? We saw that only in one case where this was tangent, it touches exactly in one point. At any other point, it touches at two points. Thus, we can say that a tangent, there is only one tangent for a given point. So if I'm talking about, let's suppose point here, let's suppose this point is uh, M. At this point, you can have only one tangent. So let's suppose this is my tangent at point M. Only one tangent is possible at a given point in a circle. Only one tangent at a given point. Correct. Let's do some more activity. Here we are doing some activity based on second. The uh, now let's define the tangent in terms of second. The tangent to a circle is a special case of second actually when the two endpoints of its corresponding chord coincide. I'm trying to say that this is the circle. And if we draw a secant like this, this is a secant where I'll say a b is a secant this is x, y is a secant that meets the line and point a b. If you see a, B, X, Y and uh, this line also X dash, Y dash, both are same. The only difference is the two endpoints which we have A and B are coinciding here. Both are same. A and B are same here. You can draw more like this. This is also secant. This is also A, B point. This is also one secant with A, B point. Correct. One more secant with AB point, two point because we know that secant meet the circle at two point. This is the one more secant with two points A and B. Here also one more secant 
Now, if you make sure that A and B are coinciding, A and B are coinciding at this point, one point, both A and B are same, then this becomes tangent. Correct? So, the new definition says tangent is nothing but a secant where the two endpoints are same, exactly same, where A and B coincide. So, this is nothing but a definition of tangent in terms of secant. Correct? So, tangent is nothing but a secant where the two endpoints coincide. So, what we have told? We have told that any line which is intersecting the circle at only one point is called tangent, at two points is called secant. Now, also we are saying that tangent is nothing but a secant where both the endpoints are coinciding. Instead of A and B, it is one point. Correct? So, these, these are all secant from here to here and the last two is called tangent. This is tangent and this is also tangent. Why? Because in the last two, the points are coinciding, the end points are coinciding. Correct? Also, they cannot be more than two tangent parallel to a given secant. Why? Because if you see, they are all parallel lines. Now, we can see we can have only two tangents. Example, we have this line. Let's suppose this line is uh, PQ, right? This line is PQ. So, parallel to this line, there can be only two tangents. Logically, also, if you see parallel to this line, you'll have only two points. And from these two points, you can get only two tangents. Correct? So, if a given, if a line is there and we are told to draw parallel tangents, we can draw only two parallel tangents. Now let's look at this tire. This tire is going towards right. And now we are told to find a tangent. This is the road, the, this is the road actually. This is my road, the brown color road. On this road, this tire is going. And we are told to find a tangent. Where is the tangent? So if you observe carefully, this is the tire, this is the center O, and this is my radius. And this is the point P, for example this road is the tangent. So when a tire, when a car is running on the road, so if you find the tangent, tangent is nothing but the road itself. Why? Because at any given point, if you see, this is the radius and this is the single point of contact. From this single point, this becomes a tangent. So nothing but, what is the tangent? We we'll say, road is the tangent. Correct? So in our case, when a tire is rotating, the road itself is the tangent. Why? Because this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is the radius and this is my tangent. This is my point of contact. From this point, if we draw a line and that line becomes road itself. So road is my tangent. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.